we're going to have we're going to have uh, Bisu versus Mew and XP in a first of three. So it's going to be a nice way to start the start the day. Oops. What? They'll know. They'll know that he's coming. They'll know that he's here. So this this is a first of three, I believe. Um, Yun on the first player side, with Bisu on the second player side. Yeah, and for those of you who are just joining us, uh, top eight will start at around two p.m. <coughs> and the matches we have are me versus Chris G, top eight in winners. Uh, Frankie Three S versus Hispanic Jap in winners. And on the loser side, we have Exodus versus Everdread and Mu and XP versus Gavin. But if uh, you want to check out the path that these players took to get there. You know, feel free to check out the brackets. Just post it in the chat. <laughs> Ultra arthritis. <laughs> Adam Suster. So again, guys, thank you for joining us. Right now, we're running a first of three. This is this is the first game of the set. BC versus Mew and XP. Nice block. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I would get a forward fear into a dash punch for the for the punish on this one. I think I think could care dash punch that punish. Oh no, he caught him with a super. Right now, Mune has to build his meter again to get a solid, uh, solid offense going. Ugh. Activate, yes, finally. Just push him into the corner. Nothing. Oh no, he's got to get out of that corner. Nice. Oh well. <laughs> He threw him out of the corner. One more grab and then that's it. He can just kill him with the super. Oh no. One zero Mewen. Mewen obviously has a lot of practice in this matchup from playing me so, so fucking much. <sighs> so annoying. It is a good super. It's funny. It, over over the years, I've noticed Muin. He's like, he's progressively gotten a lot better as a result of moving over here and playing you. Yeah, there's that. But it, it's like he uses the same tactics that I do, like the whiff grab. You know, making the opponent whiff grab and things like that with the back fierce. I, I think that's pretty standard for Neto. <laughs> you're, you're like taking credit for one, two, three Ganijin right now. Oh yeah, look, <laughs> right, right now I took credit for that because I told him to activate. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, I mean, just seeing the the evolution of his gameplay, I mean, going from the videos years ago yeah. to what he has now, I mean, he's definitely faster. Before he couldn't parry dive kicks for shit. Now he's now he's parrying dive kicks like they're nothing. Well, it, it, one of the benefits of playing you is that... Uh, you get experience with the twins, and that's not something that many people in America get to do. Uh, it's a first. Well, they're having a first of three first. I think what, the biggest problem. Uh, we'll see. We'll ask ask uh, how. <coughs> the biggest problem with how is his approach. I, I feel like yeah, it's, it's not careful enough. 
You know, he, he knows what to do when he has Gnajin, but he doesn't set it up properly. Right? Yeah, to get a proper... Oh, goodness gracious. He wants to combo into it. Yeah. He, and in his neutral game, without Gnajin, he's doing a lot of kind of reckless, dangerous, desperate things. Like, uh, you know, not only random shoulders, but like random lunge punches and, and um, you know, yeah. just... just just not I mean, clean. <laughs> I mean, he, he definitely has some, some things to polish up. It's like he, he's he's definitely a, like hesitant about everything. Yeah. But uh, actually, you guys actually missed that crouching fierce thing. Uh, Muin actually did it on a Hugo player earlier. I think it was on oh, I think yeah. it was on the Spanish chap actually, where he did crouching fierce like six times or whatever, or like five six times in the corner or some shit. Nice. That standing fears can't mm. be beaten by anything else except for uh, something that's two frames or two, three, two, three frames or so. So a grab will beat it, a uh, shoryu will beat it, and that's pretty much it. Stay there, build meter. Oh, so you can't so you go can't. in. <laughs> this is a problem. Nice. Oh no. No, why'd you try to do it? You can punish that when it finishes. He thought it was gonna chip him. If yeah. He didn't try, probably. probably. Tough. Yeah. It shouldn't be that tough. Wait, so what did Ahmed what did Ahmed say? Uh, he says he's gonna take a cab or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Could have done that in the first place. Oh. That's expensive. Is it really? I mean, yeah, with two it's, people. It's like a thirty-minute drive. From oh, from the station. Here to the train station. That's why I didn't want to go. Like if it was five minutes away, but all right, that's fine. Yeah. But I, I have to. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, I mean, we're both in top eight, and we got. Well, I gotta do that for Denzel, in like. Five oh hours, yeah, that's right. So that's right. I don't want to keep doing that. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. Build your fucking meter. Yeah, now keep him in the corner. All right. Now play safe. See, that's reckless. That's 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 the type of shit that a player like me already knows how to deal, deal with. with. Yeah. So you can't throw things out like that because it's a really easy parry and it doesn't help you much in the long game. Yeah. So you can't do it. Right now, see, he should have started that match by activating. That way, you and he wouldn't have dashed up, or even if he did, he would have had enough time to. Oh no, he might. Yeah, he's dead. Oh no, he fucked that up on purpose, the fucking guy. Why doesn't he just spin hooks into knees spin hooks? Six, he he could have done so that. I, I think he was expecting to get uh, super Enough after that. Super? Yeah. But he could have just went for the kill. Another thing too, I don't, I don't see B-Suit command grabbing too much. Well, uh, he's too focused on Ganagian. Yeah. He's in, that uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't alternate it enough. I think, uh, yeah, nice. I was gonna say I think he's probably gonna lose it just yeah. just for this just for the sake of it. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't <laughs> though. Fuck that. No, you wouldn't. Fuck that. Fucking hungry bitch. <laughs> you're stupid. You're so hungry. You want this cheese stick? No, I'm alright. <laughs> I'm good. Mika KO, yes. full in real life, hungry in third strike. Yes. But, well, chicken, he uh, he he probably, he, he probably, he probably to drag it out a little bit. There's that too. I there's mean, a bit of mercy going yeah, on right now. No, knowing a, knowing Muin, he always does that. There's a lot of room to fool around at this moment. Like he he will he would blame he will blame it on a freaking uh, execution or something. But you know he <laughs> his execution his execution's been on point. It's lately. pretty clean. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, that was three, three zero. Yeah, three zero. <coughs> right now, uh, right now, okay. Now we're going back to casuals, guys. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you don't really get to see a matchup like that. I mean, Neko versus Yun, it's pretty, pretty out of left field. But right now, uh, again, we're going back to casuals, and 
What? Okay. And uh, and now I'm now I'm, I'm up next apparently to play uh, Bisu in a first of three. So we'll get that started pretty pretty soon. And then again, guys, if you guys are just joining us, uh, we're just running casuals for now, and we will be having top eight at two o'clock, which is in about an hour, an hour or so, give or take. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna post the brackets again in the in the chat, so those of you who wanna check out the top eight with no spoilers, no spoilers from me. Shoutouts to the UK. I know they're your best friends, Kang. A ton of them are supporting our stream, so I would. I, I appreciate that. Regardless, regardless of the regardless of the shit talk you, you uh, regar well, them. no, it's not <laughs> a whole a whole wide scene shit talk segment. Mm -hmm. It was just constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. What? How many? Eighty? That's pretty good. That's for console, but we got half of that over here. Maybe less, no, more than half. 47, we could have had 50, but. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'll take it as, as you wanna see it, but uh, we're not here to talk about that. We're just here to enjoy the game for now. I mean, you know, let's not, <laughs> you know, let's not get that started, please. Nice. If you win today, they will forgive you, Nika. If I win today? Yeah, if you win today. I figured if I if I win, they wouldn't forgive me. <laughs> thank you for thank you for watching, uh, Andres Boki. Thank you for watching all the way from Argentina. We really appreciate that. A lot, lot of uh, South American and Central American on, on support. Pancake. Yeah, you know, I, I've, I've seen it. So I played a couple of people from Central America. And I played one person from my country, from, from Nicaragua, which is pretty funny. Uh, yeah, when I made that GGPO players list, yeah. there were a surprising number of people from Argentina. Yeah, there's like Argentina, Brazil, uh, Chile. Chile is a little hard to play, so, you know, that's... You know, sometimes the Chile Chilean players will challenge, but it's just way too difficult. No problem. We do this for you guys. I mean, you know, even though there are sometimes we have segments where people talk shit and stuff like that, like this fucking guy Mune over here. Uh, I I try to well, I try to keep it. I try to keep it on the low. I'm like the diplomat of third strike. I'm like the uh, voice of reason. Yeah, sure. <laughs> More like the voice of I don't care. <laughs> Oh no. But you know, regardless of the shit talk, 3J, I mean, you know, as long as we support each other's streams and, you know, as long as we keep on playing. And the idea behind the, the shit talk for us is that, you know, we want to get you guys more hungry to play and, you know, put more effort into the game the way. It's just a difference in mentality, you know. I mean, that's the way we learned in New York. That's the way I've always learned. You know, I've always had to deal with people talking shit to me all the time. So it wasn't until until I finally put these New York players in their place that I had to, you know, tone it down for them. You know, your New York wake up guess has gotten a lot better over the years. <laughs> I remember my my New York wake up guess. It was so shitty back Be in the before, days. Before it was really bad. Yeah, before it was really bad. You fucking you Chi really like all you guys used to fucking yep. kill me on that. <laughs> I remember this one this one turning point for me was when was when EXO asked. There, asked there, there was one there was one specific question, question that EXO asked Chi really 
about, and he was like, he was like, yo, yo, she really, how much damage do you get off of Nika, off just some, just in the corner alone, just from guest pairing alone? And he's like, a lot. And I was just like, Jesus Christ, was like, that right, that right there, he told me like, okay, like let me just hold down back on the stick and that's it. <laughs> and no, because I mean, that's that's the way I I started teaching myself. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep my hands off the buttons. Like I literally, like when we used to play. After that, after you guys said that, I used to put my hand behind my back and ho hold, <laughs> like hold, hold down back that, on the that's stick. That's very good training. Yeah, because the idea is, I mean, if I go for a parry, I can't press anything. Right. I can't punish or do anything. So I just forced myself to just block everything and, you know, grabs or whatever. And it was online too, so there was no reason not to. It's good training. Yeah, you know, so. That's the bottom line. When you play online, you play for extended periods of time, you know, years. Even even against good players, too, you know. It's, so. o it's only to train to get yourself better. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, unfortunately, there, there were some people who used to play online, too, that was just, that were really not about solid pride. There, there were. I mean, I, I miss them. Like, Smooth Cat used to play. Uh, Ma you remember Makimazan? Yes. That camp player? Um, uh, Devin from uh, New oh. Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still in New Jersey? I spoke with him maybe a year and a half ago, mm. but I don't I don't know the specifics of his location. Yeah, but he was really strong, strong uh, blue can I think. Yeah, <coughs> he was he was the first player I played online. Yeah. <laughs> he fucking killed me. Yeah, I, I met him uh, in a New Jersey eight on the break tournament. He's uh, a really good guy. Yeah. Uh, there's him. She really too. I, I miss that guy. He, he, he I asked to him to come here, but yeah. he said he just couldn't make it. Uh. Oh, okay, so I, I think I'm gonna have to play BC right now. So I'm I'm playing. I'm don't, playing. Don't 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 go too crazy. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just kidding. No mercy, no mercy. Okay. <coughs> okay, guys. So I'll be right back. Mune is gonna take over for me. It's that's a uh, New York conceited shit. Alright, welcome Street Monsters. Me and XP on the mic. Real loud. Alongside Exotech. Eating his Philly cheesesteak. When you're in Philly. Thinking of new and different ways to screw me. <laughs> <laughs> you see those brackets? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That was a bar burner. Alright, so now we're running a first to three. Nico versus Bisu. I admit, I forgot to put your name. I know that. Head. I know. Did you give me the ten dollars? I can't remember. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Oh, oh did. now he's trying to get an extra ten dollars from me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like it, Exo. <laughs> the hustle's real. I like it. All right. So, of course, Bisu rocking Yun. He didn't perform as well as he, he could have last he, night, but he, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna feel really bad for Bisu after this set because uh, his defense is not that strong. And oh no, did he just get hit by that? Yeah, I mean, that's what happens. Nika pays attention, and he knows exactly. <laughs> he, he knows the matchup very clearly, yeah. so. I, I, yeah, I think Bisu plays a lot of people in NorCal that don't pay a whole lot of attention. Yeah. In general, yeah. yeah. So, no, no, I mean, you know, they're so they're so focused on what they want to do. Yes, it's not, not so much about what, especially when you're playing against twins, you really have to think about what your opponent is doing, more so than what you're doing. Yeah. Actually, Bisu, uh, Bisu told me earlier that um, he's been really, like, and, and I really like Bisu because he's super humble. He's like, like this whole weekend, he's just been scared to go in. Yeah. Because our because he says it, that our it, defense it, that, is really strong. So. It is. Uh, you know, um, when you play people of your level or higher, you tend to run into a situation where you, you your movements get constricted. And as a result of that, your game plan starts falling apart, mm -hmm. and you can't recover. And that's what makes adapting so important. Right. You can't yeah. come in with, like, you can't be stubborn. You have to be like, okay, I mean, I'll do my thing, but I have to be able to make yeah, adjustments. You have to respect your opponent. Yes. And uh, Third Strike is a game of balance, and if you are unbalanced, you're going to die. Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> turn our attention to the match. All so right. Bisu's got a Ganesha here. Nice, nice reset. All right. I like it. Lloyd clearly unimpressed. <laughs> 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 Nothing impresses him except keep, himself. Keep blocking. Keep blocking. Oh. Oh, oh no. Lord. Is it really hard to confirm those uh, gash punches, Exo? Uh, he plays Yun online, I would say, a lot more often than he plays him offline. Mm -hmm. So I can empathize with him. The timing differences are night and day. 
Yeah. Uh, and when you play a fast character like Yun, you actually execute faster than you would, uh, say, a player like Ken. Mm -hmm. And so when you do things like Link crouching medium, you know, you want to hit that standing short much earlier. Uh, but you can't do that offline. You have to actually wait it out. And uh, rhythm is a huge factor in how well you perform throughout the course of a set. And when your momentum is constantly interrupted, uh, you kind of you, you have to deal with it, or you crumble. So in that last round, EXO, Visu found himself in the corner again, under Nika, uh, you know, then, then facing Nika's pressure. What should have he done there? Uh, he has to really be disciplined enough to continue blocking and for me personally I have to get a feel for what I think Mika is about to do in terms of his mix-up and so then my my best choice would be to jump over and roundhouse dive kick out um, other than that I would be occasionally low pairing because but then again you know you, you only want to do it for X amount of time because Nika adjusts properly, so <clears throat> you have to kind of counter adjust ahead of time, or else you, you will fall for that Yang pressure. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a whole lot of pressure. That's just dirty. I mean, you know, that's one of those things where it's like that red pair does good games. You yeah. Know? And, and you know, the problem with Yun is that uh, it's even when you do try to get a parry in, your punishes are very. Limited, yeah. limited compared to can anything with a low forward super, and uh, so that that means that your defense has to be much higher with Yun. You think Bisu spends enough time building meter? Uh, I think he doesn't build it properly, even if he like the occasional times where he does. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but he's too focused on Ganajin. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. Know. yeah, I told him about that. I, I, he was like, he even admitted to me, like, he's really focused on getting damage off Ganesian. When right. I think maybe he should take more of a Pyro Lee approach. He just has, because Pyro, he never worries about damage. He worries about how many Ganesians he gets. <laughs> because the damage will come, right? Right. You know? it, it's just, it, you kind of average it out. One yeah. Ganesian equals X amount of damage. Yeah, average, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, in this matchup, you have to really worry about your neutral game. It's yeah. not not yeah. so much yeah. what kind of Ganagians you can do. Because Ganagians is just a tool. Yeah. Uh, so, is it Frankie my turn? 3S just got here. Exo wants to play and he wants to stop talking. Maybe we'll do, uh, <coughs> I don't know, Exo hasn't even finished his food. You haven't even finished your food yet. Uh, I'm going to hold off on this. Okay. I'm not, I'm not too hungry. Okay. All right, so we got Frankie. In well, the I house now. Oh. He just got here.